Ladies, we've all been there at least once where we find a man, he's checking off all of the boxes of this potentially moving into a real relationship. But then there's one thing that's missing. He's not able to engage in emotional availability. Well, we're going to talk about it right now. Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Keeping It Real with Keandra. I am your host, licensed marriage and family therapist, Keandra Jackson. Getting a man to open up is tough. To be honest with you, I'm not even sure if that's our role in the first place. Nevertheless, I'm going to break down seven different ways that we can help a man emotionally open up to us if this is something that he is struggling with. While we're here, I need for you to put in the comments, has this ever happened to you where you met someone and they pretty much were a good deal for you, but they were just lacking the capacity to open up emotionally? Leave your response in the comments because I wanna know. And while we're here, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and stay connected by hitting that notification bell. So the first way to help a man open up to you emotionally is by creating a safe space. This is what I'm talking about. He's going to open up to you emotionally if he feels like this is a safe space where he's not going to have any judgment, where he feels like you are quote unquote safe, that you are quote unquote home, that there are things and ways that he can share with you and be vulnerable and open with you and his business is not gonna be out in the streets. You have to create an environment where that is the norm. And if he is finding the opposite where you are judgmental, it's not safe, he's not sure if you're gonna throw it back in his face at a later time, or he's not sure if you're gonna go back and tell all of your friends and family about what's going on with him. If that is the case, he is going to be closed up, he's going to be buttoned up, as I like to say, and he's not going to be able to open himself up to you emotionally. When someone, especially a man, and especially if he is a man of color, and especially if he is a black man, he has been conditioned in this society to keep things inside, that if you share your emotions, you're a punk, that if you open up, you're a B word, that if you cry, you're not a real man, it's man up, it's do all of these things. And so when they get into a relationship, with a woman who is requiring that of us, when they had to suppress those things for so long, it causes some conflict within themselves, within how they show up to society, and also how they are going to be emotionally available with you. I believe we have to give men, especially men that are trying, a little bit more grace in this area because they weren't conditioned like women are to tap into their thoughts, their feelings, and their emotions. Now, if a man is trying and he's putting in that work and you see effort, we gonna have a little patience for him and with him, right? But if he's not trying, if he don't care, if he's not trying to open up all of them other check boxes that we talked about earlier, doesn't matter because nobody wants to be in a relationship with someone who is emotionally unavailable because if they're that way now, in this dating relationship phase, <laughs> they probably gonna be that way the whole rest of their life and even into marriage and it's just not gonna get any better. Number two, the second thing that you can do to help a man be emotionally available with you is to actively listen. Listening actively is the name of the game. So this means that you are not just listening to him to respond, to give a rebuttal, to give your opinion, but you're actually taking in the things that he's saying and digesting it. That also means that you're giving him outward feedback to know that you're listening. So sometimes those head nods, so, mm -hmm, that eye contact, all of those things, even shifting your body and your body language to look and be towards and in his direction, those are some things that you can do outwardly to show him that you are emotionally tapped in, caring about the things that he is telling you. So this is going to allow him to consistently open up to you because if this happens every time and you're that safe space and you're encouraging and you're genuinely listening to him, he's gonna be like, wow, this woman right here, she has my back, she cares about me. So the next time an opportunity arises where he's going through something personally, or he just wants to vent or get something out, or he wants to get your opinion about something, you're going to be the first place he goes because he knows that you're safe. He knows that you're gonna to listen to him. He knows that there's gonna be interaction and it's going to be positive. So if you can present that to him and hone in on your listening skills, this is going to be key. 
I firmly believe that no one really teaches us how to actively listen. So for the woman in general, this might be a skill set that you have to develop, that you have to practice, that you have to implement in other aspects of your life, not just with your man. So you need to actively listen to your mama, to your friends, to your coworkers, to your boss, to your employees. If you're a business owner, actively listen in other areas of your life so it can become second nature to you in your relationship. Now, now the next way, number three, is to share your own emotions with him. The best place for a man to be open and vulnerable and emotionally available with you is if he sees you do this. In the psychology world, we call this modeling, which means you have to first be the example and then other people around you who are watching, who are listening, who are paying attention to you will pick up on that and then hopefully they will be able to do the same thing. So if you are emotionally available, if you're sharing your thoughts, if you're sharing your feelings, if you are venting, if you are getting things out, if you are allowing him to be your safe space, just as much as you want to be the safe space for him, it's going to create reciprocity in this dynamic. And so he's going to be like, man, my girl was real open and real honest about that. And she didn't hold no punches. She said what it is. She expressed herself. This is going to give him the opportunity to do the same thing when something arises with him. So I want to encourage you to share your own emotions with him in order to help him feel that this is a space where he can open up emotionally too. Because listen, they got enough as it is. Like I mentioned before, society already presses on them so much. So when they are coming into a closed quarters behind closed doors in the home and they can take off that cape and they can try to be themselves. I think that's the greatest opportunity when they can do that with their partner who really loves them, who really cares about them and who really wants to see them win. Number four, the next one is to be patient. I already talked about this just a little bit, but like I mentioned before, if there is a man who was not brought up with people who shared their emotions or if society has already told them that it's not okay for them to be emotional. Sometimes it takes a little bit more work on their behalf to get to the goal that we want them to get to. So if you see that man putting in effort, putting in time, putting in energy and trying, even though it may not be a perfect outlet or he may not do it perfectly every single time, I always say slow progress is still progress. I'm gonna say that again for the people in the back. Slow progress is still progress. So that means if there's effort being made, even if it's a little teeny tiny baby step, we want to acknowledge that. We want to praise him. We want to say, thank you, babe. I know that wasn't easy for you to share that with me, but I appreciate your openness. And that's going to encourage him to want to open up more and more and more. So patience is not always the easiest thing to have, but I do encourage you to be patient with that man if there is effort being made. On the contrary, if you don't see effort, if you don't see shifts and changes, if you don't see attempts, if you don't see them little baby steps that I just talked about at all, then this might be a relationship that you probably might want to reevaluate and even potentially end because if there is an effort being put in on emotional availability, there probably isn't going to be effort put in in other aspects of your life either. So the next one and number five, which is the fifth way to help a man open up to you emotionally is to ask open-ended questions. Now there's a difference between closed-ended questions and open-ended questions. Closed-ended questions literally are closed-ended, meaning they can be responded to with a quick yes or no response and it doesn't allow you to elaborate. So if someone says, do you like pizza? It's either yes or no, and then that's it, right? Now you can choose to say more if you want to, but it doesn't require you to have to say more. Now an open-ended question, to use the same example that I just gave, would be, what is your favorite type of pizza? Then they have the opportunity to say, oh, I love pizza that is Hawaiian with pineapple and ham, or I love pizza that has pepperoni and sausage, or I'm vegetarian, so I only want veggies on my pizza. They have the opportunity to explain a little bit more about what that is. And so it just allows for a deeper conversation versus the closed-ended question. So definitely implement some of those open-ended questions where the dialogue can be a little bit more long and elaborate. So 
not only they can share their thoughts and feelings, but you can just get to know them on a deeper level and learn why they operate the way that they do. So most of those questions are typically what questions, why questions, how, those are some of the indicators that you can start the question off with in order to make sure that it's a fulfilling conversation. And one of the things that probably is gonna get you the best results is not just asking about thoughts and feelings, but also about their experiences, especially like growing up. And even if we're talking about the idea of being emotionally available, you can even talk to them about why they are the way they are when it comes to emotions. You can find out if emotions were suppressed in their childhood, if you know their family member didn't really talk about emotion, if you know they tried to express themselves emotionally one time and then they were shut down. These are all experiences that you can inquire about and then that'll give you a little bit more information about them, but that'll also allow you to have that patience that we previously talked about because you'll have an understanding that they're not just doing this just to do it. They're not just doing this to get on your nerves. They're not just doing this for the sake of doing it. They're doing it because they literally had experiences in their life that either prevented them from being emotionally available or that suppressed their emotional availability. So they created this idea, this facade of how they had to show up in the world and it probably didn't serve them well. And now they're in a relationship with you trying to unpack it all. Number six, the next way to help a man be open emotionally with you is to show empathy. Empathy is literally putting yourself in someone else's shoes. We didn't say sympathy. Sympathy is just feeling sorry for somebody. Empathy is putting yourself in the other person's shoes. So when you show empathy and you say, dang, let me think about what it would be like if I grew up in a household where emotions were suppressed or if no one ever told me you know, how they felt about me or I had an experience where I was emotionally available and then I was you know, pushed down and suppressed. Thinking about all of those attempts and what that would be like for your partner really will put you in a place of patience, but also make you just so much more empathetic to their story and to their life experiences. But some of the most important things that it will do is going to foster honesty. It's going to foster trust. It's going to foster your partner feeling heard and appreciated in your relationship. And when someone feels loved and appreciated and they feel it all good and like their partner has their back, they're going to show up trying to be the best person that they know how to be in the relationship. And who doesn't want a man who's showing all of the love? Who doesn't want a man who's showing you all of the situations because you have been an amazing support to him on his journey. And last but not least, number seven, here's the seventh way to help a man open up emotionally to you is to build trust. Trust is one of those things that can be snatched away so quick, honey. So you have to make sure that trust is fostered in your relationship. And how do you do that? By being a trustworthy person. So essentially, I just wanna tell y'all on this one, don't be out in the streets telling this man's business to everybody. Don't be going to your friends and your mama and your homegirl and your coworkers. Girl, last night I had a conversation with Tyrone and he couldn't even open up to me emotionally. He told me that his mama said, that isn't what you want to do. You want to make sure that whatever happens in your relationship, it typically stays in your relationship. Now, I'm not saying you can't talk to a trusted professional or a trusted friend who has good sound advice and that's coming from a genuine place. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying if you're talking about your partner just to gossip and just to talk bad about them, that is not going to be good because eventually he going to find out that information is going to come back to him because it wasn't a safe space and you want to create that trust bubble in your relationship where it can't be penetrated. So don't be out in the streets telling all of his business, especially when he's trying and making an attempt to really, really open up to you emotionally so y'all can have a healthy relationship across the board and be well-rounded. Now, here's my final thoughts on this. You have to remember that everyone in every situation and every relationship, dating or in a relationship, is unique and it's gonna require emotional availability at different phases, at different stages, and different times. So the way that you process things emotionally is not going to be the same way your partner is going to process things emotionally. The time frame that you process it in is going to be very different from him. So you can't expect him to do things the way that you do things just because that's how you do things. 
that's inappropriate. You need to give him his own space, his own time. Now, if he asks for your help and you wanna facilitate that, that's no problem and give him a gentle nudge. No issues there, but I want you to make sure that you're doing it from a genuine place and that you really want to see him win. You want him to be open emotionally, not just for the sake of your relationship, but because that is a part of having a high emotional intelligence in this world in general. A man who is emotionally available can go way further than a man who is not emotionally available. And this goes for career, this goes for children, this goes for every aspect of their life. He has to have some type of emotional availability in order to operate successfully in this world. So being a woman, you can facilitate that, you can encourage that, you can nurture that, or you have the power to do the opposite and push him down and make him feel like he's not anything and really just put him in a position where he doesn't want to open up to you at all. You get to choose. So thank you so much for watching another episode of Keeping It Real with Keandra, and I will see you next time. Bye.